Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela and in today's video, we will be talking about the pros and the cons of attending NYU. I was the class of 2019 at NYU. I graduated two years ago. Honestly, it feels like just one year because it feels like the pandemic took an entire year out of my early 20s, but we won't talk about that. I know a lot of you guys are thinking about going to undergraduate or going back to school for your master's even. And I thought it would be great to talk about my own school and whether I feel like it's worth it and reflect back. So. Let's get straight into it. One of the pros of attending NYU is obviously the location, right? It's in New York City. A lot of people attend NYU simply because they want to be in the city. For me, I grew up in New York, so that wasn't that big of an appeal for me personally. But I know for a lot of people, they simply wanted to be in the city. And if you are a huge foodie like myself, New York City is definitely the place that you want to be. If you love exploring restaurants and I'll say that attending NYU really brought out the foodie in me. Especially surrounding NYU, there are dozens of delicious restaurants from all different types of cuisines. There's Italian, there's Japanese, there's Korean, there's Chinese, there's Greek. There's any cuisine you can literally dream of and you can probably find it within a 15 minute radius of the NYU campus. NYU is also located in a pretty prime spot. It's pretty much wedged between in Chinatown, Soho, Union Square. And so you get a pretty eclectic and diverse set of neighborhoods surrounding the school campus, as well as all of the events and stores that go along with each of those neighborhoods. Especially if you're the type of person who enjoys being a little bit more independent and going out and doing your own thing, NYU is the place to be for that. It's a place where you can really flourish by yourself. You don't have to be confined to the activities of the school and the people of the school. School. There are tons to do outside of it and a lot of people actually live off campus So they don't live near NYU They'll go and find their own apartment in New York City and it allows them to do and see a lot of things that aren't just school related Second big pro of attending NYU is the career options Even people who don't study in New York City oftentimes do want to work in New York because a lot of big corporations and banks are located within the city. For me personally, I studied at the Stern School of Business and it was close to all of the investment banks. So it was incredibly easy for me to just meet a professional for a quick coffee after a class and really learn more about the job and also network. If you were to go to school in a much smaller city or somewhere much farther away, you'd have to either wait for the alumni from these banks to actually go visit your school or you'd have to wait for some sort of career fair or you would have to travel by plane to New York City yourself to meet someone or fourth you would just have to settle for a phone call which is not nearly as good as meeting someone in person. By being in New York City you're also surrounded by incredible internship opportunities because there are so many corporations looking for college students to hire. You can do a lot of internships during the year. There are tons and tons of opportunities out there simply by being in this big city yourself. That's something that I really took for granted during my time in New York up until I met people from other colleges who honestly just had to travel to New York to actually go for the internship or go for these interviews or coffee chats. Number three is prestige. The word sounds icky, honestly but it's true. Yes, I know NYU might not typically be one of the top 10 ranked schools, but pretty much everyone knows the name New York University on a global basis. It still holds its weight on resumes when someone sees that you attended NYU because basically everyone knows what the school is. They know the type of experience and the type of programs that it offers. And so the name still holds its weight on your resume 
resume and your resume is something that you'll carry with you for the rest of your life when you are applying for jobs. And education is something that never leaves your resume. Number four is connections. NYU has a huge, huge alumni base. In 2020 alone, NYU accepted 19,000 students. Think about how many people that is year over year over year. When I was finding people to network, whether it was for my investment banking job or for my new corporate development job, I was essentially looking on LinkedIn for people who graduated from NYU and were in the careers I was interested in. And trust me, there are tons and tons of people out there. Almost every company I was looking at, there were NYU alumni. And when there are alumni from your school, they are much more likely to speak with you just because of that connection. And lastly, it's the diversity. NYU is a very diverse school, particularly from a global perspective. Nearly 30% of students accepted to NYU are international, and that exposes you to a ton of people from all different parts of the world. And the benefit of that is that you're exposed to a lot of different perspectives. One really cool thing was that I graduated semester early during my senior year of NYU, and I decided to spend a few weeks just traveling around different parts of Asia. And in almost every country I decided to go to, whether it was Singapore, Thailand, China, I had a place to stay because I had so many international friends at that point from NYU that there was almost someone in every single country. And that's really cool in my opinion and that's something that you will definitely have going to NYU. One big con that NYU is notorious for is that NYU is incredibly expensive and they are also known for being particularly stingy with their financial aid. Attending four years at NYU will cost you about $300,000, including room and board and all the fees related to textbooks and laptops, so on and so forth. And you really have to think about whether paying that $300,000 is worth it for you. What I would suggest is to look at the other schools that are also offering you packages and compare them financially. Is the trade-off of going to a slightly less expensive school worth it of not attending NYU? You, that's really more for you to decide. Despite that, you shouldn't make the cost of the school the only reason that you're not attending it. There are tons of benefits and there are tons of ways that you can help to pay for your education. This is a perfect segue to talk about today's sponsor for the video, which is Scholarship Owl. I know that applying for scholarships can seem tiring, pointless, and oftentimes frustrating, which is why for this video, I've partnered up with Scholarship Owl. Rather than worrying about how you can pay for your education, worry about more important things like how to actually study for it. Scholarship Owl is a platform that uses artificial intelligence in order to generate scholarship recommendations tailored to your profile and your needs. I've tried it myself and it's honestly the fastest path to earning scholarships because it simplifies and focuses your application process. I really, really wish I had this website when I was attending NYU because it would have helped so much. So if you're attending school right now, particularly in the US, check out Scholarship Owl. So I know that it can be really tiring looking for scholarships and then going on their individual website to look for requirements. However, Scholarship Owl is a one-stop shop platform for vetted scholarships. You put all of your details into the platform and the website will match you to those scholarships, letting you know when the scholarship is due, the requirements for it, the credibility, and the number of applicants who have applied already so you know who you're competing with. You can easily apply to these on Scholarship Owl itself without having to go through any other website. You make an account and keep track of all of your scholarships in one place. Try it out and let me know what you guys think. I'll include the link in my description box below. Con number two is that NYU is not your traditional college experience. After graduating from NYU and going to work, I would hear people talk about things like tailgates, 
I had no idea what they were at all, never heard of it before. I had to literally Google it. So you really don't get those traditional college experiences like attending football games or, or going to dorm parties. There are some, but not a ton. And while I was considering whether to attend NYU, this was honestly a pretty big consideration for me because I didn't want to miss out on the classic college experience. But hey, gives and takes. If you want to be in a big city, that's something that you'll have to sacrifice. And there are a lot of ways that NYU does make you feel like you have a community and a campus of sorts, aka Washington Square Park. Number three, there's not really much of a campus. Dorms at NYU are pretty spread out. There are even some where you can't get to one from another just by walking. And the majority of NYU students live off campus, which means you could have someone living on 50th Street and someone living on 8th Street. And so because of that, not everyone is clustered all into one location and it can be not so easy to just quickly meet up with one person. However, I will say that for the most part, NYU buildings are pretty concentrated. So in general, during class time, when you see people walking around the street around the NYU buildings, they're more often than not NYU students. And Washington Square Park is largely filled with NYU students, particularly during nicer times of the year, like spring or summer. And as a result, while there might not feel like there's an actual campus, NYU really tries to create the sense of a community by having everything concentrated into the same part of the city and as a place where people can walk around. But if you're looking for an incredibly traditional campus experience where everything is confined into one space, you'll be hard pressed to find that at NYU because most of these outdoor spaces are public spaces where anyone from New York City can go to. Number four is the lack of socioeconomic diversity. I talked a lot about a good international presence at NYU and being able to meet a lot of people from different countries. However, given that NYU is a private school and one that is particularly notorious for being stingy with their financial aid, as a result, it creates a class of students which are predominantly more privileged. And as a result of going to a school that is not as diverse from a socioeconomic standpoint, it generally does skew your views on society and politics. So end of the story is if you want a very traditional college life without that city aspect to it, NYU perhaps might not be for you. However, if you're someone who thrives in environments where you can explore, meet new people, you're career driven, and you're more on the independent side, then yes, NYU could be the right place for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to smash that like button if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Big shout out to my Patreons for continuing to support my channel. On my Patreon, we have a Discord chat. You can do one-on-one -on -one calls with me and I offer a lot of career guidance on it. It's a great way to get to know me personally beyond YouTube. So check it out. I'll have the link down in the description box below. It's patreon.com slash x 3 Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye!